Hey everyone, welcome to May's Lug Life. I'm May, and today we're going to be talking about one of Lug's largest wallets. This is the Handspring. It is one of the most uniquely styled wallets, I guess. Um, the layout is really, really cool. It's very, very different from all the rest of their wallets, and certainly different from most of the wallets that I usually come across outside of the Lug brand. I've maybe only seen one or two wallets like this in my entire life that are sort of similarly laid out, if you will, but even still, I still haven't found anything really like this. Um, it's such a unique design. It was really well thought out. Lots and lots of cool little hidden features all the way through. Um, it is, if you're looking for a large wallet, um, it pretty much has every feature you could possibly want. So, first of all, I just want to say there will be fact sheets at the end of this video that I pulled directly off the Lug website, which is going to have things like measurements, um, all the different features that they've added into it, things like that. So wait for the end of the video. There will be fact sheets at the end. Um, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a tour of the entire wallet so that you can see all the different little pockets and features and things on it. And then I'm going to show you how I've sort of packed it and I'm also going to compare as far as the size goes um, to some of the other similarly sized wallets and other wallets that maybe Lug is carrying right now. So first of all this actually came as a set in that if you bought it as, as a set there actually were small wallets that came with it. So this is the handspring and they actually also came out with a handspring mini. So there are corresponding colors and uh, Basically what it is, is they had a, a large wallet and then you can get the sort of corresponding small wallet. Now, of course, this wallet doesn't go with anything that I've got there. Um, so this one I just got independently because I just wanted one amber item. So I got myself this little guy just because I wanted it um, in case I needed something really, really small and amber because I really like the color and I didn't really, I think this is a color where for me a big bag is too much, but I still like the color. So I got myself one of those. So it doesn't match any of the wallets that I have, although I do have the handspring in the black. So if I really wanted to pair up, I could do that. But the weird thing is the interiors are completely different. So anyways, that being said, these two actually did come with the same type of small little wallet um, and the interiors will have the same lining. So if you're ever looking in the future or you're collecting in the future or even collecting now, um, if you look at the outside of the wallet and the corresponding mini, they don't look the same on the outside, but they will have matching interior linings. So when they sold them as a set, I think only in the States, and I think maybe on some other little sites, they actually did put them um, as a set so that like you actually bought the two together for whatever it was. Um, but in Canada here, they only ever sold them separately. So I was able to buy them separately, which is fine because I didn't really want the one that came with this because this was just black. Oh, I do have it. <laughs> I just got a different black because I wanted the brush black versus the, the regular black. So there was a brush black that came with this Sorry, there was a regular black that came with this one with the same interior. I just didn't want it because I probably won't ever wear them, use them together. And then that one came with like the orchid color there that you see, that purpley color. So anyway, so let's go on a tour. So I just want to let you know that this did come kind of as a set. So if you ever see these guys with really weird random prints on the inside, that's why it's because they were supposed to match their the big the big sister there. So let's go on a tour. So first of all, it is. It's actually quite thin, all things considered. It's not one of their bigger ones. Uh, if you are aware of the Kickflip 3 or the Kickflips, that's how big that is empty. And so if you look at just the size as far as the thickness goes, it's a little, sorry, this was a bad, there we go. Um, the Kickflip is actually a lot thicker. They're the exact same size otherwise, so the same height, same length, but one is a whole lot thicker to begin with. So this is a much thicker uh, wallet, and then when you fill it, it really gets big. It really turns into a brick. This one is brickish, but it's nowhere near as brickish as that one. So if you're just wondering about the size. Um, so let's just go on the outside. So like I said, really thin, so it's got a much thinner profile. Um, there is a removable wristlet strap. So as I was mentioning before, with the minis, they actually have these little holes down here. So it's to provide you with the ability to take the strap, the wristlet strap off of the large one and clip it to the small one if you wanted to. So the small one doesn't come with a wristlet strap. You just have the option to be able to put one from the larger one onto this one. And if you're not using it, you can just take it right off. Um, there is a little lobster claw right there, which you can see. 
I'm not gonna take it off because when I do it behind the camera, I can never do it. So there it is right there. So it actually is relatively easy. You just unhook it that way, but it just, for me, it's difficult to do behind the camera. So then you go in, so it does, it does um, zip upside down. So it goes from the bottom up. There's the logo there and it comes up this way and it opens like a book. So for me, I would have preferred the zipper go the other way because I would have loved to have had the zipper open this way so I could just sort of peek in and grab my two top whatever cards and slip them back in without opening the entire wallet. So I would have preferred the zipper go the other way. So that's my review on this one, the zipper going the wrong way. But for some reason, Lug does that. A lot of their wallets zip the wrong way and I really don't know why. It's kind of a pet peeve, um, but it's not enough for me that deters me from actually keeping and buying these wallets. Anyway, so there we go. So it zips that way. And then, like I said, it opens like a book and that's the strap right there. So that's where it hangs and it opens like a book. So you can actually flip through all of your cards and they're all visible. This is why I love this wallet so much is that as many cards as you could probably own, um, you can see every single one of them. Now you only see the top of them, but it's enough that you're like, oh, that's where that is. And in case you happen to need more cards than this, sorry, than Sorry, if you need more slots than this card slot, that, hang on, how do I put this? <laughs> if you happen to have more cards than there are card slots, there we go. Um, there is enough space be behind each slot that you can actually put like two or three um, cards into each slot without it busting. Um, so anyway, so that's sort of the overall sort of way it opens. So let's go here. So you've got card slots. One, two, three, four. Sorry, one, 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 one two, three, four, five regular card slots on that side and then there's a clear view slot there and then on this side you've got one two three four five six seven along here then there's a little zipper here a little zipper pocket which is so great um, I put my change in there um, and it keeps everything kind of safe or oh, actually do I keep in there I don't remember I'll, I'll look in a second because that's the one I was using uh, right now, and I'm gonna change over to this one very, very soon. And then so you flip it over, there's another, uh, I think there's six card slots here. I guess you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry, there's seven on this side. Then there's a little pen slot. I don't know if you can see that there. It's just a little elastic. And you can throw your pen in there, uh, your little makeup brush, lip balm, I don't even know what else you'd put there. I probably, because I carry um, little essential oil rollers, I would probably put that there because I don't really need a pen. Um, and some people store their wristlet strap right in there as well so that when you need it, because if you don't want it in your wallet, sorry, in your, in your bag dangling around, then you could take it off, put it th right through there, and then we need to take it out and clip it on. So that's another place you can hide your wristlet strap. And then same thing. So this is this this side is exactly the same as this one. This side is the same as this one. So this whole slot is the same. So this whole section is the same. And then this whole section is the same. And then here's the cool thing. Then you've got another little couple of spots to hide your receipts and your bills. So there's a slot there. There's another slot down there, just underneath the cards there. And the same thing on the other side. Look at this. Look at how much space you have in this wallet. So there are so many little hideaway spots that you can hide so many different things. And I love this. I love that when I open it up, I can go, okay, I don't know where this card is. So if you're one of these people who gets a lot of gift cards, has a lot of loyalty cards, um, maybe is carrying cards like library cards and things like that for you and your kids, and you just wanna know where all of it is or you can see it at a glance, this is awesome. Um, I do have a lot of gift cards and I, of course, you know, when you carry them in another wallet or you carry them in like a little bundle somewhere, you don't see them. Um, and then when you're looking for it, you, you don't know where it's gone to. For this one, you see it right away. So as soon as you're looking like, okay, I know it's purple. Where is it? Okay, there's a purple one. Ha, here it is. And then you can take it and use it and actually use it. Because that's the one thing about, for me anyways, with gift cards, I forget I have them. So anyway, so that's the inside. And then you go to the outside, the very back here, there's one more zip pocket across the back. And it also has its own little gusset, so you can really fit a fair bit of stuff in there. Um, and it is, um, yeah, it actually is a really good smooth zipper. All of them have really good smooth zippers. So it really becomes a very handy wallet to have. It's got space for everything. There's really nothing in the world that you would probably need to carry that it wouldn't fit in here. Now, I don't know for a fact. Um, I probably should check this one day. But I feel like you might be able to squeeze your passport in there and slip it into one of these slots back here. 
I feel like you might be able to. So if you're needing to carry that, that is a good safe place. This is RFID protected. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, RFID technology is where it's like basically when you go to the store and you tap your card and that's how you pay. Well, with that same technology, a thief can come by with a similar type of machine and scan uh, and they can swipe it over your wallet or your purse and steal the contents of the so the electrical contents, the digital contents of your either identification or your credit cards or your bank cards or whatever it is. So if it's RFID protected, anybody with that kind of technology that flashes a, a wand over your bag or whatever device they have, they won't be able to access it because they've completely shielded, shielded this whole wallet. So you don't have to worry about that at all. So that's what it looks like empty and thin and this is what it looks like when it's full. So I actually have been using this for many months. And so there it is. So I have jam packed this. I just so you know, usually I actually use the kickflip, but I actually decided to use this one because as, as much as I love my kickflip, I just wanted this because I love the look of it. I love this print. So I really wanted to use this print this year. Um, so I decided to shove everything in there, but you can see I stuffed it so much that it's actually, it's it's all buckly. Um, it doesn't look so good on this side. I probably shouldn't have stuffed it that much, but you know what? Like I said, I've been using this for what? Three, four months. Um, I've never had a problem with the zipper opening or like trying to open it, even though it looks like it's about to explode. Um, so just watch totally totally smooth and it doesn't I never get it caught even though it, it looks like it's about to just you know rip opened um, the zipper has never ever ever failed me or done anything weird so just to show you how different like, like I said I have completely stuffed this <laughs> um, there you go I've, I've 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 stuffed it to bursting and that's how much thicker it is when you're when you're when you're uh, when you've packed it. Now, here's the thing. When I packed my um, Kickflip 3, it was thicker than this. So somehow the exact same amount of stuff going into the handspring made it just slightly thinner than this did, believe it or not. This was a complete brick. Even though I loved my brick, it was very thick and, and very bulky. For some reason, this was able to just streamline it just slightly more. So anyway, so I'm just gonna show you what this looks like when it's full. So there's all my cards. So I'm able to access everything. And these are cards that I tend not to use as frequently. These are like rewards cards and all that kind of stuff. I have another smaller rodeo that I use as my other, sort of the one I pull out in and out a lot. So that I don't have to, you know, like pull out the big, big guy. Um, anyway, so all of my rewards cards, all of my, you know, the, like the discount cards and things like that, but I can see them. And each one of these, you can see some of them. I actually have two cards in each slot. There's not just the one, there's two. Um, so yeah, so I've just got some um, like coupons and like cab chits. Uh, I've got postage stamps in case I suddenly need to mail something to someone. I'm at like in a cool place and I see a postcard I wanna mail to someone, I carry postage stamps. Um, all the gift cards that I have, um, business cards, et cetera, et cetera. Like all the, everything I could possibly want is there. Um, I do have like a couple of little notes that I've left for myself. I know this sounds weird. I carry paint chips that I, of my house in here so that when I'm trying to match something in my house, <laughs> um, I go, I don't, remember, I don't know if this is gonna, seem, be, gonna be the same shade. So I pull out my paint chips and that's what I have. Um, and this is something that I have done. This is a kind of fun little thing that I've just done for myself. I use coupons a lot and this is where I carry my coupons. So I have made little tiny dividers. Um, you can't really see them very well. Let me see if I can pull this out and just show you quickly. Um, uh, I'm gonna rip my coupons here, hang on. Uh, okay, so all I've done is I've cut little pieces of paper um, to size and then I've just put a label on it. And so I have a little divider system of coupons right there so I can see really quickly. I probably could have been better and cut little tabs out, but at the time I was just too lazy. So anyway, so there we go. So I've got my coupons in there. I haven't ever put anything in here just yet because I have another place that I keep that kind of thing. But um, if I really wanted to, I could slip this guy in there. But I actually like to have this because what I do is when I have this in my bag, um, I actually have the tail, not to the tail, I have the strap sticking out. So when I put it in my bag, it goes in like this and I pull it out by this. <laughs> so instead of grabbing it here, I will actually pull it out this way sometimes. Now, um, just so you know, this wallet has a, has the zip, any wallet that has a zipper in the back with a gusset 
this does sometimes come opened. So sometimes if you're pulling things in and out of your, of your bag, this will get caught on something or will pull on something and it will sometimes start that zipper going. Do you see that there? So it's supposed to zip all the way here, but when you, let's say something gets caught on, on this and it pulls, it can start the zipper. And if it starts the zipper and sometimes this will continue to go, then the whole contents of whatever this is could potentially come flying out. So I don't actually keep my change in here. I keep, believe it or not, more gift cards back here. So I used to have a plastic sleeve in an old uh, wallet that I, I had from decades and decades ago. Um, and I just kept it because I, I liked it. I liked that all of my cards sort of stayed in there and it somehow survived three wallets. Um, so I've kept it and it just, and the whole bloody thing goes in there. So yet more cards. Uh, what else do I have in here? Uh, yeah, I've got bus pass, uh, bus tickets and stuff. So anything that I know is not going to fall out just because the zipper goes flying goes in here. My change is inside here. I put my change in here. Um, it's, and it's good and tight. Um, so I also have a poppy in there, but, um, anything that I, I know, like, you know, if it spills open, I'll be really upset about everything goes in here because it's very, very unlikely that that's going to get unzipped. And even if this gets unzipped, most likely the things that are in it aren't going to go flying. So that's why I have that. So just a warning to you that any of the wallets, which most of them are, um, like even the little ones tend to have that little gusset there. So you're very likely going to have that get caught on something if you're not careful and then this zipper is going to go. So for me, like I said, I will pull it by the wristlet strap, the removable wristlet strap, which I always leave on, but sometimes I have to be careful. Sometimes I'll look and go, uh oh, this zipper is a little bit low down. So I will actually grab it by the zipper. So I'll pull it like this. I'll put my fingers in the zipper and pull it out or I'll shove it in that way. Because again, if it gets caught, the zipper pull is going to go. So, so that's that. So that's how big that looks when it's full. And by the way, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these are like the little pizza things that come inside your pizza. I got like three pizzas last week because I was, it's the first time I've ordered pizza takeout in decades. Um, and I didn't want to throw those out. And I was like, Hey, these actually might work really well for some of my purposes like that. So anyway, <laughs> so I thought I'd, I thought I'd debut the pizza thing today. Okay. So that's those two. Now I just want to quickly show you, uh, in comparison to the other larger wallets as far as size. Um, so I already showed you the Kickflip 3. These are the other wallets that I've got that I thought I'd show you. So the Kickflip 3 and this is the Splits XL and the Handspring are the exact same height and length. The Kickflip 3 is thicker. The Splits XL also thicker. So this is the thinnest of the large wallets of the, the large carry everything wallets. This is the next thinnest and then the kick flip is the thickest. So there you go. So this has got the two zippers. The kick flip has well one zipper and a flap and this one only has the one but it has the same capacity as this. So when I take things out of the kick flip and go into here it fits. In fact there's a little bit maybe even extra card slots in this one and then when I go from here to this everything fits. So I, I use these three wallets interchangeably so depending on the season um, is when I change this. So I'm going to go be using this for the holiday season. This one I used in the summer. Um, that one I used in the fall. This one I was using basically for an entire year, the year before, the entire year because I loved it so much. But then things started to fray on it a little bit, so I stopped using it because I love it and I don't want it to die. So I decided to go and start using these guys instead. Um, and like I said, I also have one in black uh, and I don't have another Splits XL, but I'm hoping to get one soon. Um, so anyway, so that's the size difference on those. So those are all the exact same size. The next one that's really big that I have would be, this is the, um, the Peekaboo wristlet um, sort of pouch. It is the same width or whatever, sort of same width this way, but it's a little bit taller and obviously a ton thinner and there are no features. This is basically a Metro on steroids. So this is just a large Metro. Um, so there's no organization in that. So I don't know if you want to call that a wallet. Um, it's basically a phone pouch, but just so you know roughly how big that is, I wouldn't be able to fit this guy in this, but you know, hey, if you're looking at trying to, you know, put things in your wallet, just so you know that how, that's how that works. And then the other one that's pretty big is the tram. So this is the tram zip. And it is just a little bit shorter this way, but a little tiny bit taller. 
So it's, it's a little bit taller that way and a little bit shorter this way. But it's got the same sort of op like sort of like book opening so that you can see all your cards. So this doesn't have as many card slots. So if you don't have that many cards, get the tram. You have a lot of cards or you love the way that you can flip this like a book. Like you can turn the page, which I love. Get this one. And then the next one down, which is more of a medium sized wallet is the tram. But just to show you the difference between the, the two, um, it's actually not that, like they're about the same thickness there, but this one's a little bit shorter. Um, but this one also has a ton of spots. So, so there we go. So if you were to fill this though, it wouldn't be as anywhere near as thin as this. So that is, that's, so those are the sort of the closest ones I have. Um, there is the quick step which I want to say is about the same size as this. Um, I could be wrong though. So it's, it's not a huge bit bigger. Um, but anyways, it is definitely one of their like sort of more differently sized wallets. So there you go. That is the hand spring. So if you have any questions, please leave them for me on, um, uh, in the comments. I will do my best to answer them the best I can. Um, yeah. So let me know how it works, how this works for you. If you have them, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope that was helpful for you. Again, stay tuned at the end for the fact sheets that are coming next and let me know if you've got questions. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.